Hi, I'm Lily. I study cryopreservation and how this process affects the plant mitochondria. Hello, my name is Milana and I am also studying cryopreservation and how it affects the gene shifts in the plants which are being treated within the cryopreservation. So we're still in the tissue culture room and I'm going to show you the plant I'm working on. My PhD project is about Arabidopsis teliana and it is a model species for plants because it's the first plant which had its, its genome sequenced. And I'm working on a variety of different Australian native species. Uh, one of them is the green kangaroo ball. So I'll be using a range of species, including kangaroo paws and grevilleas, and crime preserving them and seeing how they respond. I love working at Kings Park because I've always wanted to work with plants. I've always loved plants, and I want to do something that's going to help our natural environment. The thing I like about my job is because it's the perfect environment. We are in the Kings Park and in a way I think we're changing the world towards uh, better things. And Show us your green heart. And uh, come and join us at the Kings Park Festival to hear what we have to say more in our presentation about the cryopreservation. Thanks, Thanks for watching. My name is Roman Eyre. I'm a research scientist here at Kings Park and Botanic Gardens. I did my PhD on the pollination of the red and green kangaroo paw, our state floral emblem, and found that it was visited not only by our native nectar feeding birds, but also a lot by the introduced honeybee. And this got me really curious about what role the introduced bee plays in pollination of our native plants. I'm really fascinated by pollination because it gets to combine plants and animals and the environment around us. I was never good at picking one or the other that I wanted to study, so this was a great way of combining everything together. Show us your green heart and come along to my presentation at the Kings Park Festival, which will be all about the role introduced bees play in pollinating kangaroo paws and other native plants. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Vanessa and I'm a PhD student with the University of Western Australia and the Kings Park Botanic Gardens. So I'm trying to improve restoration success of the Banksia woodlands uh, using seed enhancement technologies. So that could be using something like this seed spaghetti. So uh, seed spaghetti is pretty cool. Uh, I get to put a chef's hat on and use a pasta machine. And I mix together my dry ingredients. Um, and then using a pasta machine, I mix it together with water, making a dough-like material. Then I extrude it out kind of like spaghetti, cut it into short lengths and you get seed spaghetti ready to plant out at site and uh, hopefully to do things like improve the emergence of our native plants or to protect them from herbicides. So uh, this is just a different type of seed spaghetti and it has topsoil in it which uh, from the Pilbara which kind of gives it that red look um, and then we have another type of seed spaghetti which is really fat, we like to call it the wombat poo um, and this actually has a, a surfactant in it which just helps with our water repellent soils uh, so we can help soak up the water. And look, just another couple of different types of seed spaghetti here, all different colours depending on what we're trying to overcome, um, whether it's weeds or poor topsoil um, or trying to improve emergence, uh, all the seed spaghetti looks different. So this is our industrial pasta machine that we use to make the seed spaghetti. And it's not your average pasta machine that you might find at home. Uh, it's pretty big and we can make a lot of seed spaghetti in it. I love to do what I do because I think the plants around Perth are really awesome and we need to give them a fighting chance. Uh, that's why I'm all about trying to restore the banks here woodlands. And I also love doing a PhD because it's full of variety and every day is really different. Show us your green heart. Plant some natives in your garden and learn more at my talk about seed spaghetti at the Kings Park and Botanic Gardens Festival. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name's Russell Miller. I'm a research scientist here at Kings Park and Botanic Garden. So my research is looking at the effects of different fire regimes on local Banksy woodland plant populations. So this research involves our surveying plants before and after fire 
to understand the effects of different fire frequencies, seasons and fire intensity. For example, these Banksia species are both killed by fire and they might require several years to grow and flower again, meaning they might be sensitive to frequent fires. So I love working here at Kings Park and being able to see many of the natural areas around Perth. Show us your green heart. Come and see my talk at the Kings Park Festival. Thanks for watching.